right, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am currently in the Eastern Sierra chasing some fall color. I'll be out here for a few days. Um, currently getting some really cool conditions. Um, it's, it was gonna be clear, but there's a lot of uh, clouds over, um, I guess, the western part of the mountains here. Um, and I'm getting some cool like dynamic lighting situations right now. I don't know how the day is gonna shake out. I'm still driving and kind of getting to where I'm going, but um, yeah, we'll see kind of what that looks like. It's, uh, it's been a nice drive. I got up really early this morning, um, but time's been good. I don't really have anything on the agenda today. I'm just going to kind of drive around. I don't check into my campsite until like 2. So, yeah, just going to be driving around, kind of scouting a little bit, seeing what looks good. I mean, if something catches my eye, I'll, you know, pull over and do some photos for a while. And depending on how the conditions sort uh, kind of evolve over the day, we'll see where I end up shooting and what I do for this evening and things like that. So, yeah, looking forward to the trip. Looking forward to sharing it with you guys. So uh, thanks for following along and we'll see what we get. Alright, well I just got finished uh, basically shooting on the side of the road. Um, coming into the Eastern Sierras here is just a beautiful overlook over here that's just popping off with color. Um, you'll see some of the uh, images and videos here in a little bit, but I mean hopefully some of them turn out. But man, it is just gorgeous. We're, I, I say we, like all of us, but I mean myself I guess. Um, I'm hitting this at a perfect time. I think the best time for fall color, in my opinion, I mean, there's no best time. I think every part of fall is really good from pretty much beginning to end because you can get really great images anyway about it. But um, right now there's still a lot of greens, but there's still, but there's yellows and oranges and stuff too. So it gives a lot of contrast and a lot of color separation um, when I'm doing these photos. So I'm really, uh, really excited to get these back into uh, Lightroom and see what I can pull out of them. But I mean, just a beautiful morning so far. I'm really just blown away. I haven't been out here in a long time and I'm just so stoked that I can, uh, you know, really take my time for over the next few days and explore the area and hopefully come away with some meaningful, meaningful work, but just, uh, just a great morning so far. I'm excited to keep driving and see what else I get. Well, today's been a little bit of an adventure. I've just been kind of driving around the East Sierra. I'm actually in the eastern part of Yosemite right now because I just can't keep myself away from this place. Um, just walked out, did a few just handheld shots, just kind of scouting around. Um, I think I'm going to head back down into like the Mono Lake Basin area, um, just like the eastern part where I was at. Um, I just decided to come up here to kind of just take a look around. Um, I'm going to grab some lunch then probably go check into my campsite um, and figure it out from there. Um, yeah, I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do for this evening. Um, today's kind of just like a scouting day for me, um, just cause I haven't explored this area too much. I've been here a lot like as a kid growing up uh, with my parents, but um, I've only been out here a couple times like as an adult and especially as like a photographer. So um, yeah, just kind of looking around, seeing what looks good. I saw a, cool, a couple cool little um, little overlooks uh, when I was driving in here. So probably stop off, check those out. And uh, yeah, kind of see what the rest of the day holds. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get going, get some lunch, and see uh, see what I can find.
come off on this giant slab of granite. Pretty close to the road actually, but there's pretty cool like trees and stuff kind of growing out of the granite, out of uh, little patches of dirt. I figured that I'd come over here and see if there's any interesting compositions. It's kind of middle of the day, so it's more of a scouting thing. I might come back like in the morning or evening or something at some point, maybe. Um, but it's just kind of interesting to know for a different time. Um, lots of really neat compositions, and I like how the, I like I like the way the uh, trees kind of contrast with the bright white granite or like slate, I guess. Very pretty. I think I can come up with some cool compositions at some point, whether it's this trip or another one, I don't know, but we'll see. But looks pretty cool right now. Um, getting kind of hungry though, so I think I might go grab some food. Alright, made it to the campsite. Uh, I'm gonna get settled in for right now, maybe take a little rest, maybe a nap, and then kind of see what uh, what looks good for um, sunset. A uh, few areas I'm kind of thinking about, so we'll see how that shakes out. Um, my tent window is flopping around because it's a little windy, but on all the uh, new truck camper setup is working out really, really well. I'm really happy with it so far. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, just getting out here and just taking a little time to rest and relax and hopefully find some good compositions. I think my buddy Tom might be meeting me out here in the next day or two, so should be a, should be a good trip. I'm back on the trail. I had a little rest slash nap in the car. Well, in my tent, on my truck, I guess. I gotta stop saying car. I have a truck now. It's weird. Um, so yeah, I'm actually walking around one of the uh, lake basins here. I'm gonna see uh, what looks good. Got a lot of interesting clouds. Maybe it lights up. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? So I'm just gonna look around, see what looks good. Some pretty cool uh, light on the, uh, I don't know formations or whatever out there. So, see what I can find. Well, I don't know if you can see behind me, but the evening light is just raking across this lake basin down here. And the dappled light I'm getting right now is just 
really amazing. I was going to go to this one area that's like a pretty well visited overlook or like, you know, scenic lookout point thing, but you just got to react to what the light's doing. I saw that the light was kind of dappling over here, so I kind of pulled off on a different road. This whole mountainside was um, lit up over here, so I've just been shooting over here. I might make it down there uh, if the sky looks like it's going to, um, what should we call it, um, light up or whatever. Uh, I mean, the clouds definitely have potential here, but there's a big cloud bank back that way, so I don't know if, uh, I don't know if it's going to break through or not. And they're moving pretty quick. Wow, look at that. But, um, yeah, so I just pulled over here and I've been shooting here for the last probably like 20 minutes and it's getting some great stuff here, I think. So we'll see what everything looks like when I, uh, when I get it back into post, but pretty, uh, pretty awesome evening. Wind's picking up a little bit. It's pretty windy where my campsite was earlier, um, but it uh, uh, sorry about that. Last part of the video, uh, someone pulled over right next to me and um, asked me. It, got right in front of me pretty much and asked me to take their picture. So that was a really weird interaction. I've never had it, that happen to me ever. Um, anyways, back to what I was doing, I guess. Um, so yeah, if you can see out here, oh, let me move the camera a little bit. Yeah, the light is just raking across this basin right here. And I'm just, I've been, I mean, I've been shooting forever here. I don't know if any of these are gonna turn out, but I mean, shoot, it's a lot of fun, so. Oh, and then it's picking up again back here behind me. So I'm gonna shoot a little bit and then I'll record later and tell you what happened. Okay, I think I'm kind of done with this area now. It's all the, the little mountain range behind me here light up with some light and the light just keeps breaking through the clouds. So I'm gonna try and get down to this other like scenic area and see if they light up and then probably call it a night. But yeah, it's just a super weird interaction. I've never had that happen. Like I don't mind taking pictures or doing any of that stuff, but it was just, super bizarre he just got like pretty much in front of me and was like take my picture mm -hmm. i was like okay <laughs> uh i guess i'm kind of a pushover in that respect i guess but uh huh yeah weird 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 weird, weird. um anywho yeah i think we're, uh, i don't know the light's coming back but we'll see i'm probably gonna pack up here in just a minute and then go down to the other area and see if the clouds light up for a nice little sunset shot we'll see so anyways off we go All right, just got finished shooting. Um, you think I'm done for tonight? Um, yeah, it's getting cold, it's getting windy. I think I'm gonna go back to camp, get set up, get some dinner in, then probably hop in my tent because it's gonna be windy tonight, I think, and kind of cold. Um, so I'm gonna kind of settle in, figure out what my plan is for tomorrow. Nice thing is I have the internet or um, cell signal over there so I can kind of look up some stuff for tomorrow morning. And then I think Tom's supposed to come out tomorrow at some point. So hopefully we'll meet up with him. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. Um, yeah, really great day. It's been a long day. Been up since 3, no, 2.30. Yeah. So long day. But I mean, I think this trip, I'm going to have a lot of a lot of different images. Like I'm coming out for fall color, but I'm really just kind of following what the light is doing. Uh, I mean, if we just get bluebird skies, then I'll just go with it and do whatever. But with this dappled light, I just kind of follow that around and see, you know, what it's highlighting and what subjects are popping out with that sort of a, you know, with that, with those um, lighting conditions. So looking forward to uh, doing some more of this over the next couple of days. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, in my opinion. So anyways, thanks for following along and let's get some, get some, I'm not going to cut that out. Let's get some dinner.